crowd tonight, Coach? The crowd was unbelievable. The crowd was unbelievable. And uh, hats off to them because they put us over the top. Now, my guys responded. We didn't come out. Um, obviously, we didn't come out. Uh, I'm not going to say ready to play. We were ready to play, but we weren't playing as hard as we should have been to, to start that game. And the crowd got us going. And they were unbelievable tonight, but we need them like that every night, regardless of who we're playing. And we need them in here in force on Saturday night, early, loud, um, going crazy, painted faces, signs, um, making this making this what could be the best home court advantage in the league. But they've got to do this every game, not just when they feel like it or when they think things are going well. But the fans were they were outstanding tonight. Obviously, uh, they made it loud and hot. It felt like. I felt like I was at UAB, and this is how we all were after UAB, soaking wet. And um, this is when you build something special, when you get a crowd that gets behind you and helps you, helps you and carries you in times of, of need. But there was also a young man named Derek Character who did some pretty nice things out there tonight. What was he a man? Um, and we need him like that. We need him like that every night. And, and when, when other guys aren't on or, or cramping or whatever, we've got to have guys step up. Guys step up. And I thought Jeremy Williams stepped up and, and made some huge plays in those drives late. Um, he made some big free throws to give us separation there late to make it a, a three-possession game. Um, I thought uh, collectively we had a great defensive game plan that the guys executed. Um, and, you know, everybody got a piece of them. But, you know, the, the Randy, Myron, Julian, um, made it hard on Coleman when, you know, again, held him under held him under his season average. And to get it, he had to take, you know, the, the, the amount of points. You know, you want somebody to shoot shoot like he did. But happy happy for our team, um, happy for the crowd, um, and look forward to seeing him again on Saturday night. UTEP, I mean, UTEP, 42 points of the points going for Houston did seem to be this. Just nobody could match up with Houston. Derek taking things over. What? Well, it was the number one key tonight on the board, the number one key. We had to dominate the paint. It wasn't just offensively. It was offense, which obviously we did that with uh, 42 to 18 points in the paint, and Derek was a big part of it. But so was Jeremy driving the ball in the paint. Um, even Arnett, only, even though he had only one field goal, um, part of being dominant in the paint was defending, rebounding, and blocking shots. I thought we, we tried to challenge everything that they brought at the rim. So the number one key was dominate the paint tonight. We did that in all in all aspects: rebounding, uh, scoring, blocking shots, and defensively. How big was that spurt late when you got punched to have to get in the locker room and, and really come out strong? Second? Well, it was huge because at that it was a media timeout at three forty one, and I think we were down was it twelve, thirteen at the time, and and I just told the guys we we had been getting consecutive stops. But we hadn't been getting consecutive scores. And we were shooting too many threes instead of throwing it inside and then playing inside out. But I told the guys in that last 341, whatever we do, we got to get this to single digits. We have to, right? I mean, if it, if it was nine, I would have been fine with it. I was obviously ecstatic that it got to four. Um, but that was huge. So the game wasn't too far away from us coming out of halftime. All right, guys. Um, actually, if the first half, you know, when, when Arby Coleman, you know, was doing all the scoring, um, I told Coach Barber that I want to take on the challenge. And guarding him the, the, the last what, four or three minutes, it took all my energy. You know, after that, I couldn't breathe. And um, I told Coach Barber that um, I needed a rest. Like, I couldn't even warm up because I was so tired. And I knew right then that the second half I was going to start cramping. And as soon as we came out, from my, my calf muscles, my everything was just cramping. And Coach Barber just told me whenever I need a break to just let him know. You know, to reduce that 14 point lead, you seem like you kind of took it upon yourself. You really poured your heart and soul on that stretch. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I, I knew, you know, our Coleman is, is a great player. And, you know, the key to the game was to try to slow him down. And, you know, that, that's who. And I, I just, I didn't want to see him just, you know, a one man beat us, so I told Coach Barbie, you know, let let me take him, you know, and you know I have so much pride in my defense that 
you know, I wasn't gonna let him just score on me easy, so I gave him everything I had. Jeremy, two clutch, clutch free throws at the end that had not been a particularly good night. Uh, uh, does that go through your mind at all? You just uh, yeah, I try not to focus on what happened in the past. I mean, of course, I mean it wasn't a great night, but hey, we got the win, and we uh, we got the win collectively. I mean, that was that was it was all about. When it came down to those free throws, nothing else mattered in the past. I mean, I just knew if we got those free throws, we put ourselves in a, pe a better position to win. You know, that's what I did. Randy, talk about uh, feeding off the crowd tonight. Oh man, I mean, the fan base was was crazy tonight. And, it, it, you know, they played a, a big part in that. You know, um, when we was down, you know, they they stood up almost the, the rest of the game. You know, that that really motivated us. And if it w a crowd was a big help in the game. Jeremy, you really haven't seen a crowd like this since you've been in DC. Yeah, not since I've been here, but the atmosphere was crazy. I enjoyed every minute of it being out there and on the bench. I was just, I was just hype. I wanted to explode on the bench because I wasn't in the game. But hey, I mean, the crowd really, really got it, motivated us and. Uh, they really helped us to not get this win. You talk about uh, everybody kind of feeding off each other. You got, if somebody goes down, somebody else steps in. Right. Uh, there was talk about that down to the, the team. Uh, I mean, that's all about being a team. I mean, <coughs> of course, you're going to have players go down at different times within the season, not only in the game. Just uh, other players have to step up, and we uh, take it upon ourselves, you know, individually to, you know, make something happen out there positive, you know, just to make up for the other players uh, missing. So, I mean, is um, we gotten better at that throughout the season. I feel like we're really understanding each other and, and getting to know each other better on how, what we how and what we need to do, you know, to win, to prosper. He said exactly what I was gonna say. He took everything. <laughs> <laughs> Big team, Tulsa, first place in the conference. Uh, it's a big oh, game. You know, um, Tulsa is a great team, mm -hmm. also. You know, they they're not gonna come in here and, and let down at all. You know. We just gonna get prepared and practice. You know, we're not worried about them. We just we're gonna focus on ourselves. And uh, like how we started the game tonight, you know, we can't do that against Tulsa. I, I, Houston Trump jumped out on us and punched us in the mouth. But uh, Saturday we we can't let that happen. You know, we gotta be the, the aggressive team and, and come out and punch Tulsa in the mouth. But I'm looking forward to the game. And you know, it's for first place, so you know we're gonna give it everything we have. Uh, big game. Next game is always a big game. Uh, we got Tulsa coming in the house, and we just got to take advantage of being at home. And I mean, do the same thing we did tonight toward the end of the game. Let's buckle down on defense, be more physical, and uh, out tough. We're at home, so we got the advantage. Just go out hard and smack them in the mouth.